All right, my friends, in my hot little hands, here is the uh, Tittle X. Strange name, Tittle X Micro Golf Simulator. Could this bad boy be a huge game changer in the uh, golf simulator business, the industry? Let's check out and see what we got inside the package. Like they say, it's a micro golf simulator. We have uh, the swing impact stick, extendable, it's about the weight of a normal iron. We have the magic device here, which would attach to the swing impact stick right there. These are your codes for your PC or iOS device or both your package of goodies, additional Tittle X connectors that can go on different clubs, USB charging device, which you would charge up this unit here, uh, like so, and plug it into USB plug or port and get this bad boy charging up. And we have these little rubber stretchy guys so that you can connect it to the other piece. If you have a thicker club or something, you're just gonna Put it on like so, and you're good to go there. Uh, directions help you get going. Now, what this comes with the standard just E6 license when you buy the product, which currently is retailing for about $200 US. And so, in the review, here's what I want to know is for that $200 price, is this thing worth it? Now, if it was $2,000, my standards would be much higher. So for a $200 product, my standards, although not low, I don't necessarily expect it to really blow me away. We will find out how it performs and if it's even worth the $200 or is it worth way more. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my card for my PC. Instructions are right on the back of this thing along with your license code for your PC. So you just download the E6 software, install it into your PC, enter your code, create an account, and you're good to go. Also, you can use the iOS in the same manner. Just download the app, enter your code, you're good to go there. So you can use it on your iOS device or your PC device. What I'm going to do first is use it on my PC in my home simulator studio and I'm going to compare it to TrackMan to see if it's even accurate at all. And we'll get some numbers there. Then I'm going to take it into the real world at the driving range and I'm going to hit balls and see if I get accurate readings with the E6 on the iOS device and how it performs compared to TrackMan and compare those numbers just to see what we're getting. Is it even somewhere in the ballpark? All right, here we go. We are at the driving range. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the swing impact stick with the seven iron. We're gonna adjust club here by pushing the up and down arrows to select my club, sand wedge, pitching wedge, and over here on the left, three wood. It's gonna show me six, Seven iron. First swing with this, set up for address, it vibrates, you feel it, take your swing. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what type of distance I got here. With that virtual club, hit it perfectly straight in the bunker. And okay, it says carry 190, 192, that's pretty far for my seven iron, but okay, whatever. Do a couple swings here. Now, I, I will say already the cool factor with this is pretty good. It's going pretty far compared to what I normally get with the seven iron, but the coolness to it is, is pretty awesome. So just comparing weight, it's close, close enough. Got a head weight there. I don't feel like they're totally dissimilar. So let's take this off of the swing stick. I'll just put it on here, clip it on here, adjust it to my seven iron. Now, this is, we'll see, I'm gonna hit a shot, 
hit a ball into my screen. TrackMan's gonna pick it up, give me some realistic numbers, and we're gonna see what we get on the display here. Get ready? Ready. All right, everybody picked it up pretty good. TrackMan got me 158 carry, 171 total. On the Tittle X, we've got 162 carry, 167 total. TrackMan's got me 158 carry, 171 total. So about a four yard difference. And TrackMan's got me pretty straight. Ball speed, it has it at 114 versus TrackMan 110. Thus probably the difference in yardage variation. So they both picked up ball going with a little side spin right. Now that's gonna be from club face manipulation on this. So that's pretty accurate there. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get another one. And when you have this on your club, you're just going to need to make some adjustments to line that up. Now, if you have your grip, it's a little easier to kind of line it up. If you don't, then I would just line it up so that that kind of comes down the shaft line in that orientation there. Okay, I purposely tried to play a little draw there and I pulled it and TrackMan's got me good with a little draw. 165 carry TrackMan, 166 carry. This gives me a swing score and it tells me my club face was slightly closed, which I like because I was actually trying to play a little draw and obviously TrackMan will tell me my club face angle. Face angle at impact negative five four, which is closed. I'm, I'm so far somewhat impressed with this little guy. Let's see what it looks like with driver with the big boy and see how accurate we, uh, it can be there. So although we have different connectors, it's just easy to, to slide off and slide on the driver here. All right, here it is. I did not strike it very good. Clubhead speeds 100 miles an hour on TrackMan. Here we have 105 clubhead speed, pretty accurate. Let me see, carry distance was 254. TrackMan's got me 230, so that's a little different. Total was 269 versus 272. So the total distance was pretty accurate on both. And that went to the right, and I definitely hit it a bit right on TrackMan as well, a little bit. TrackMan's got me going right down the middle. Good shot, 101 mile an hour club head speed. Tittle X, exactly 101.9 to 101.5. 241, carry 244, 285, 257. So the rollout is different on the two. Not a big deal. As long as I know it's going in the direction I'm looking for, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So I was worried that it would work way better with the swing apparatus it comes with than with a club. But actually, in reality, this is performing more realistic while hitting a real ball than I think it does with the swing trainer it comes with. However, if you're in the office or something you, and you don't have something to hit into, not bad, it gives you pretty accurate results with this. So far, so good. I'm incredibly happy with the, the display, the integration with the E6. I'm happy with the results indoors. The numbers it gives me, I'm very pleased with. However, I know what you're all asking. You, you all want, is this going, what is it in reality? I get it here, you got track me, you got a lot of technology going on, but we have to know, we have to know now. Now, it's what, it's about $200 product, so we don't have to know that much. Like, let's uh, compare it to the price. Incredibly affordable. I'm already sold, to be honest with you. I would get it and be happy with it for 200 bucks ish at the time of shooting this video. But how is it on, in reality land, let's go to the course and see, we'll bring TrackMan, we'll be at the course, We'll have Tittle Axe and we'll rock and roll and see what the deal is.
All right, here we go. We are outdoors. I am hitting an eight iron now. We are connected, ready to rock and roll. Also, what's cool about Tittle X, not only can you use it here at the range, but there's also different range integrations in the software, so you can have different looks. It's perfect for outdoor or indoor, at home, or in the office. And there are four courses that come with the standard package, and you can always upgrade and add additional courses and games to your membership. All right, Tittle X, strange name, cool little product for like 200 bucks. I don't think it's the best thing to use, let's say outdoors, because it's just, it's hard to see on your phone and do everything, but indoors, phenomenal. And I'm super impressed with the accuracy of this little guy versus uh, TrackMan. So for 200 bucks, I think it's a totally great deal for what it is. It's gonna give you some awesome practice indoors, especially during the winter time, off season, whatever craziness in the world, you can get some really good play for 200 bucks indoors. I like it. So, as always, I will leave a link in the video description below for Tittle X. Click below, check it out, see if it's something that uh, might work for you. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you next video.